PeoriaLife.com. of doing these things live or drawbacks of doing this live is technical issues and so um, apologize for crashing there but uh, we're back and I uh, want to continue this conversation with Impact Peoria. So um, if you're just picking this up now uh, we're talking with uh, Impact Central Illinois and uh, we're talking with Lori Weaver and Aaron Selby uh, uh, again, Impact Central Illinois. Um, so we were talking, um, what are the events that you might have coming up? Okay, so coming up we have, well, I'll let Aaron talk specifically about the next one. Great. In so October. the next really important event that we have is our nonprofit information session, which is on October 22nd at the Community Foundation of Central Illinois, which is at the corner of War Memorial and Sheridan at 6 p.m. We're asking all the nonprofits that are interested in learning more about our grant to attend that night so that we can talk about uh, organization guidelines, what we will and will not fund, um, the timeline of our grant, mm -hmm. um, just kind of get the word out there and, and get interested folks up to speed on who we are and what we're, what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And they'll be able to at, get all of their questions answered. Um, it is great to start on our website so that you have a general idea. If you go to impactcentralillinois.org, you can get some great information. But then on October 22nd at 6 p.m. at the Community Foundation, you can get specifics and um, ask real people your questions. Um, the other thing that we had shared with Tim is that um, our members, we hope to... Um, also be able to equip them to become better philanthropists. And we really believe that to become a better philanthropist, we all have to know and understand the needs in our community. And so in January, on January 8th at the Holt Center at 7 p.m., we will host a um, what we call our town hall, which is for members, but they're allowed to bring guests and anybody from the general public that was curious is, is welcome to step to stop in. Um, but we will have a professional from each of the three categories that we're going to look at funding. So a professional in the area of education, health and well-being, and family and social service. And those individuals will share what they see from a professional perspective as the greatest needs in our community. And, um, and like I said earlier, that's, that's part of what we think really makes membership a rich experience because you're sitting next to women who are trying to have an impact and giving them an opportunity to better understand what's going on in, in central Illinois. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool that these women are in central Illinois because it's, mm -hmm. it's real easy to, to go somewhere else and to help maybe build something or, sure. or to do like a short little mission trip most of the mm -hmm. time it happens. But then you come away and you come back to life. Whereas here, you're making an impact where you live. Mm -hmm. So you actually get to follow through and you get to continue and watch the growth happen and be involved, mm -hmm. which is really important for success of both organizations. Yeah, and I think it takes, it takes both, you know, smaller giving and bigger giving. I think that I can give $500 to an organization and you can give 500 to another, and all of those gifts are valuable. But um, to be part of a collective organization where I can put my $1,000 with Aaron's and 118 other women, and we can have a transformational impact on a single not-for-profit, and we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, that'd be a huge investment mm -hmm. for an organization. Yeah. Especially in Peoria. Right. You know, yep. Money goes a little bit longer here. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And especially we feel like when, when Kat left Peoria, what's it been, a year and a half, two years ago, we felt like the rest of us that are here haven't added an increased responsibility to step up to the plate and be smart with the dollars that we put back into the community. Mm -hmm. Well, wow. And we definitely feel like the dollars that we have our incremental dollars like we don't think we've moved you know mm -hmm. philanthropic money around in the community we feel like this is 120,000 new dollars that mm -hmm. we're going to be able to infuse and make a difference with right mm -hmm. really transform some organization out there mm -hmm. so um, when are you deciding again so our annual meeting is um, June 9th 
of 2020, and that's when the, the members of Impact Central Illinois will get together and we will all vote on one on the top three candidates in each of those three categories, and um, we will award a check that night, and it'll, we'll celebrate. It'll be... Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely learning as we go. So the first, the first years and the first founding members are um, especially exciting to be a part of. We've learned a lot already. A lot. <laughs> That's great. Is there anything else that we need to cover? No, just that if you, I, I guess I would like to repeat our website um, at impactcentralillinois.org. And our marketing director, Kathy Kwan, has done an amazing job of getting really valuable information on there. So if you have any questions about anything that we've said or not mm -hmm. said, there's a question and answer um, section there for most commonly asked questions. And if you're not for profit and you have further questions, um, show up at the Community Foundation on October 22nd at 6 p.m. Great. Avon, uh, where, are, where can people find more information about either uh, Either of your business. Either of my business. Um, we have a website, betterearthlogistics.com, um, and we have a Facebook page too, which um, if, you, if you need to have some funny live videos, I, I do them quite often, which is <laughs> comical. <laughs> um, garbage. Uh, well, recycled food products. Right? Yes, food, food scraps yes. and compostable products. Um, and uh, for our video game trailer, it's gameonillinois.com and we also have Facebook and Instagram for that as well. So um, check us out online and Instagram and we have events coming up too. So the best place is to look online because we pop up everywhere and we've got some exciting, we've got a big New Year's Eve party coming up um, and we're looking at doing some Halloween fun stuff. Hopefully I can close my street down and make that happen. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> So this is In the Neighborhood. We're here on Peoria Life, but check us out. Um, in the Neighborhood is a nonprofit. Check us out also on um, our Facebook page, In the Neighborhood, on Peoria, or on Facebook. And uh, yeah, check us out, i3 Broadband Channel 17, our YouTube channel. We're, we're about everywhere. That's why they call it Widecast Studios. So. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you so much. You. Great opportunity. Have a great day, everybody. PeoriaLife.com